हेलो गाइज आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द सोर्स टू फाइबर पावर लॉन्चिंग राइट वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट द सोर्सेज वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सोर्सेज द एल ईडीज द लेजर्स एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फाइबर्स एज वेल नाउ द नेक्स्ट टास्क वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट टास्क नेक्स्ट टास्क is to couple the power or launch the power from this source to the given fiber right so how we can couple or how we can launch the light from the given source to the given fiber that we are going to see in this video so this is our next unit and here we are going to talk about the power launching so now let's start with the two basic things that we have to do in the power launching first we will be having a luminescent source from the luminescent source we have to launch the light into the given fiber right and as i told you i don't have a lot of longer fibers and i have to do a long distance communication so what i do i take a lot of fibers i join them so now the power has to be coupled from one fiber to the another fiber at the joint some losses would be there but i need to couple the power from one fiber to another fiber as well so the two basic task are first launching the light from luminescent source to fiber and the power coupling from one fiber to another fiber now we are having some basic considerations based upon which our power launching and the power coupling is based so now what are these consideration first i will be seeing what is the numerical aperture of the given fiber i will be seeing what is the core size what is the radius of the core right based upon that i can have the different power coupling right so on the basis of core size power launching will change right then the refractive index profile we have already talked about what is refractive index profile now when i change the refractive index profile the power launching will change then the core cladding refractive index difference what is the actual refractive index difference between the core and the cladding right so these are the various consideration for the given fiber now for a source also i have some considerations what are the considerations i have to consider for the given source first i have to consider the size or the radius or the angular power distribution from the source now angular power distribution tells me at what angle what kind of power i have right the power is non directional distribution or the power is having the directional distribution right so we should understand what kind of power distribution we have then we ha we should understand about radians now we should understand what is radians first then only we will get to know how the radians is affecting the power launching or the power coupling right so the radians is actually denoted by the brightness also so it is the measure of optical output of the luminescent source and now how the optical output is measured optical output would be there in the three dimensional direction right if i have led led is giving or launching light in the three dimensional direction right even the lasers are launching the light in the three dimensional direction so now optical power radiated into a unit solid angle per unit emitted surface area is giving me the radians so now i need to see what kind of angle i have so the power radiated in a solid angle one solid angle per unit emitting surface area is the radians so i hope now you understood what is radians and how the power launching is dependent upon the radians as well so now the coupling efficiency so we will be talking later on as well about the radians so these are some of the considerations based upon the fiber and based upon the source so i hope now you understood the various things on which my power launching and the power coupling will be dependent now coupling efficiency how efficient this coupling is we have to measure it as well mathematically we should have some phenomena by which i can measure 
how much power I have emitted from the source and how much of this power has coupled inside the fiber. So this measurement is done with the help of coupling efficiency. Coupling efficiency is the measure of power coupled into the fiber from the optical source. So it can be given as eta and eta is equal to Pf upon Ps. Right, Pf is the power coupled inside the fiber and Ps is the power emitted from the source. So obviously what power I have inside the fiber divided by what power I had emitted from the source is the efficiency, right? So now it depends upon the type of fiber attached plus the coupling process, right? What kind of process I have used for the coupling and what kind of fibers are there, right? What kind of numerical aperture is there for the fiber? What is the core radius? What is the refractive index profile? And what is the core cladding refractive index difference? So in all of these things, my efficiency would be dependent. Plus it depends upon the process and the radiance angular power distribution as well. Right, so now what is fly lead and what is pigtail? Fly lead and pigtail are the name given to the small optical fiber which are already connected by the source. So what happens? Some of the distributors, what they are doing? When they are fabricating the source LED or lasers, they are attaching a very small optical fiber, right? So this small optical fiber is called as fly lead or pigtail. So these are the sources with short length of optical fiber. The length is less than one meter and which is already attached in the optimum power coupling configuration. So I had two tasks. First, the launching of the light from the source to the given fiber. And if I have already have a small fiber attached to the source in the optimal configuration, then this losses would be minimized, right? But now I have to consider the further losses when I couple the light from one fiber to another fiber. So when I have picked A, obviously the losses would be less because I have to consider only the power coupling from one fiber to another fiber. Now coming to the source to fiber power launching. I told you the source to fiber power launching depends upon many things and radiance is one among them and radiance is the measure of optical output of a luminescent source how much the optical output is given by the given luminescent source and it is measured by the solid angle per unit emitting surface area right so power given by the solid angle and we are dividing it by the per unit emitting surface area and what would be the units watt per square centimeter per steradian steradian is the unit which measures the solid angle so this is how the power in a unit solid angle for a unit solid angle i will be denoting it with the help of steradian and per unit emitting surface area is surface area is denoted by square centimeter. So power is what divided by square centimeter divided by st radian. So I hope now you understood this thing. So radiance is going to give me the power coupled and now efficiency depends upon it. So if I have higher radiance, how the power coupled and how the efficiency is going to change with the change in the radiance. We are going to see this. So now source output pattern. If I have any source, I told you the source output would be in 3D plus the source which is giving me output is generally spherically symmetric. The LEDs are giving output which are spherically symmetric output. Right, so I cannot use the Cartesian coordinate system. So the output measurement becomes a bit complex because here I have to use the spherical coordinate system. So now here, this is how our spherical coordinate system is used for characterizing the emission pattern from the given source. So now here you can see we have the R, we have three parameters R, theta and phi, right? R is the radius of the given spherical object, phi is the angle which it is making from the, let's suppose the y axis and theta is the angle which it is making from the z axis, right? So phi is changing from 0 to 2 pi, theta is changing from minus 90 to 90, 
and in some cases we take it from 0 to 180 also but phi is changing from 0 to 360. So I hope you understand what is the spherical coordinate system if you want to go in detail I have a separate video on the spherical coordinate system even so you can watch it. So now here in the spherical coordinate system we have three parameters r, theta and phi right. We all know this thing we have three parameters now we are having an assumption. What is the assumption? The assumption is that we have uniform emission across the surface area. Right? We are not considering the non-uniform emission. Now coming to the Lambertian output. Right? What is the Lambertian output pattern? Lambertian output pattern is non-directional output pattern. So if I see it is equally bright from any of the angle. Right? If I see it from one angle, another angle, another angle, it will be seen as equally bright. So it is not directional in any of the direction. In all of the directions, if I see it, I will be seeing equal intensity or equal brightness. So power delivered at an angle theta varies as cos of theta and how I can represent the emission pattern as B naught cos of theta. Now B naught is the intensity as the zero degree. So power emitted can be represented as B naught cos of theta and B naught is the radiance along the normal to the radiance surface. So now radiating surface is this and the normal would be at the zero degree. So B naught is the radiance at the zero degree. Right. So this is the uh, radiance pattern for a Lambertian source in which this blue pattern represents the Lambertian source. And now this pattern represents the output of a highly directional laser diode. So you can see in the directional laser at the zero degree we have a very high brightness and if I see at the 10 degree I will not see anything I will see the darkness but on the other hand if I see the Lambertian output at 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 at all of the places at all of the angles I am going to get the equal brightness and here it will move up till 90 and here also it will move up till 90 so this is the theta right with reference to theta I will not be having any change in the brightness in the Lambertian output pattern. Now we have the different types of uh, LEDs we have edge emitting LED we have the surface emitting LEDs as well. Now for the surface emitting LED we, we are following the Lambertian pattern but for the edge emitting LED we have a complex radiation pattern so that we have more complex emission pattern right. So what is happening in the surface emitting LED we were having the Lambertian pattern which was very simple to understand B0 cos theta. But in the edge emitting LED we have radiances now here we have two radiances B theta comma 0 degree and B theta comma 90 degree which are different. So we have to understand the two different planes the lateral plane and the transverse plane and in both of the plane I will be having B theta comma 0 and B theta comma 90. So which is different in parallel and the normal plane to the emitting junction of the devices. So I will see the output intensity B at the parallel plane then I will see the output intensity B at the normal plane as well. So the radiance is given by 1 upon B theta comma phi and it will be equal to sin square phi B naught cos T theta cos square phi B naught cos L theta and this, these are added. So 1 upon B theta comma phi sin square phi B naught cos T theta plus cos square phi B naught cos L theta. Now what is T or L? T is the transverse and the lateral power distribution coefficients. So these are the power distribution coefficient in the two perpendicular directions. So now in the edge emitter LED we are taking L is equal to 1 right. So when L is equal to 1 so here we are taking cos square phi upon B naught cos theta right directly we will be taking L is equal to 1 and here at the denominator we will be having B naught cos of theta. So now the half power beam width will be equal to 120 degree right so I can say phi is equal to 120 degree. Now for the laser this is for the laser laser T is high and L is greater than 100 degree. So now when I have a very high T this value would be high L is greater than 100 so this value is also high. So this is how our 
सरफेस एमिटिंग एल ई डी द एज एमिटिंग एल ई डी एंड द लेजर्स आर डिफरेंट सो एज एमिटिंग एल ई डी एंड द लेजर्स आर फॉलोइंग दिस इक्वेशन एंड इन द एज एमिटिंग एल ई डी एल इज इक्वल टू वन राइट एंड इन द लेजर्स वी हैव वेरी हाई टी एंड एल विच इज ग्रेटर देन हंड्रेड राइट सो नाउ टेक अनदर केस एंड इन दिस फिगर आई हैव मेड द आउटपुट ऑफ अ हाईली डायरेक्शनल लेजर right so output is in between minus 10 and 10 so let's suppose the output the total degree which it is encountering is 10 so the degrees it is encountering from here is from 5 and he from here till 5 right so b should be degree theta is 5 and phi is 0 in this case so b not cos 5 Raised to power l will be equal to one by two b naught, right? Because here phi is zero, sine square phi plus cos square phi will be equal to one, right? So now we are just putting theta is equal to phi, theta is equal to five, and now here we have to find out l. We are not considering the transverse direction, so we have considered t is equal to zero. So now here. we will be having b not cos 5 raised to power l will be equal to 1 by 2 b not so now when i take log both sides i can find out, find out l so l will be given by log of 0.5 upon log of cos of 0.5 so cos of 0.5 is having value 0.9962 so log of 0.5 divided by log of 0.9962 is given by 182 so now from here you can see the l is 182 and the t was already high so in the lasers l is in 200 180 150 so l would be like that so you can see we are getting the narrow output beam and we are going to get the significant light coupling into the fibers from the lasers so from here we have derived a conclusion that if i have leds even the surface emitting led edge emitting leds these are going to couple lesser lights in comparison to the lasers into the given fibers so i hope you understood each and everything that i have discussed in this video if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible I hope you like this session if you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and also give me your feedback thank you so much